everybody, my name is Tyler Hayden. Welcome to teammover.com, your online source for helping you to take your team outside of the box. So uh, in our classic initiative series, I've got another fantastic one to share with you. It's called the blindfold maze. It's one I've used for years. It's absolutely awesome at orienting teams in ways in which to ask for help. Uh, it's one of the toughest things for, for folks to do is to ask for that, that help, particularly when uh, you know things get rough and things get uh, overwhelming. They often don't know that they should ask for help and it becomes a very stressful time and you can disengage and uh, not retain employees as a result. So uh, here's a great way that you can help to orient that discussion early on in your team's time together. So check this out. We'll go to the whiteboard. Here we've got uh, here we've got the blindfold maze. So basically, what happens is you need a really long piece of rope. Um, that long piece of rope is tied from fixed object to fixed object to fixed object. I've used chairs before for an indoor event. Difficult, but it can work. You just have to try to make sure that the chairs and tables they're not mo as uh, as movable um, so that they're stationary. Uh, then, or you could go outside and use trees to make sure you have a clear space that's uh, fair level that uh, people won't get hurt because they are going to be blindfolded. Uh, so you're going to fix that rope in a circle. That's the most important piece about the rope is that it's long enough that you can space your people around in different parts of the blindfold maze, but also that uh, that uh, when people are attached to the rope or because they're going to hold onto it, that they can do it in a safe manner. So it goes in a circle. There are no beginnings. There are no ends. It is one continuous circle. Then what you're going to do is you blind blindfold your folks somewhere away from the activity. So you're going to blindfold them and then place them onto the rope one at a time in different locations. And you're going to tell them that uh, to find the way out of the rope, but if they need a hand, don't hesitate to ask for help and you'd be happy to help them find the end of the rope and find their way out. So then people will start walking around the rope and walking around the rope and walking around the rope looking for their way out. Uh, at some point, someone will say, I could use a hand, I could, and, and then you'll walk over and say, well, you need to ask for help if you need to help out, and then they'll say, yeah, can I get some help to get out? And you say, of course, you take their blindfold off, you tell them to shh, and then you say, I'll help you find the way out, and then they'll come out. And then they're ready to help other people to get out of the, uh, out of the maze as well. And then as everybody begins to ask for help, you begin to accentuate the word help uh, in the in your directions because you can repeat the directions occasionally during the initiative um, and eventually people will all have asked for help to get out of the activity now great opportunity for you to be able to talk about the quality of help when to ask for help uh, how we help each other uh, how we work cooperatively how we work as a team and, and how that helps us to achieve our business objectives so great activity it's a great one early on in order to talk about that idea of asking for help ladies and gentlemen hey my name is Tyler, thanks a lot for stopping by and we'll look forward to talking to you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.